Hello, and welcome to this tutorial on how to install and set up the ZK2 pressure switch. We will look at how this is done, guiding you through each step of the process. In this video, we will cover the following topics. First, we'll look at how to install the ZK2 pressure switch onto the ZK2 body and attach the connecting cable. We will then examine the wiring specifications for this cable. Finally, we will explain the user parameters and functions for this switch, and how we can set up and change them. Let's begin by installing the ZK2 pressure switch onto the ZK2 body assembly. This is a simple process. First ensure that the O-ring is correctly fitted on the pressure switch. Then attach the pressure switch to the ZK2 body and secure it with the two screws provided. The screws must be tightened to a torque of 0.08 to 0.1 newton meters. We can now attach the cable assembly. Insert the main cable connector into the socket. Push it in firmly until it clicks into place. Connect the smaller cable connector to the valve socket. Before we proceed any further, Let's examine the cable wiring details and where each wire should be connected. The brown wire is for positive power. The blue is for negative power. The white wire is for controlling the release valve, positive for PNP wiring, and negative for NPN wiring. The black wire is for switch output, and lastly the gray wire is for switching the vacuum. We will now explore how we can set up and configure the working parameters of this pressure switch with reference to a function graph. First, an explanation of each parameter. P1 is for pressure setting. Sets the on-off signal of the switch output. H1 is for hysteresis of P1. This is used to prevent chattering. H2 sets the on value for the supply pilot valve signal. H3 sets the off value for the supply pilot valve signal. H4 is the range where the on value of the supply pilot valve, H2, cannot be set. For example, if H1 equals 10 and H4 equals 1, the maximum value of H2 is 9. H1 is greater or equals to H2, plus H4. The graph will now show how the switch function works in relation with the parameter settings. This graph represents the normally closed pilot valve specifications. For the normally open option, the switching of the supply pilot valve is inverted. In the graph, we can see that the vacuum starts until it reaches P1 plus H3. The supply pilot valve will then turn off. The vacuum level will start to drop. When the vacuum level reaches P1 plus H2, the supply pilot valve will turn on, and vacuum will continue, controlled by the switching and the parameters. Now, for changing the parameters on this device. In measurement mode for P1, press the S button once. The set values will be displayed. To change the values, press the up button to increase the value, and the down button to decrease it. For quick continuous changes, hold down the button. Short single button presses make single digit changes. Press the S button to confirm the setting of P1. The display now shows H1 and its set value. Once again the up and down keys increase and decrease the set value. Press the S button to confirm the setting of H1. The display now shows H2 and its set value. Once again the up and down buttons increase and decrease the set value. We will now look at some of the functions available, and how to set them. The first is for unit selection. Press the S button for 2 seconds or longer to display F0. Press S again for the uni display which allows you to use the arrow buttons to toggle through the different units. PA is kilopascal, megapascal, millimeters of mercury, inches of mercury, PSI, bar, and kilogram force per square centimeter. 
While in the function selection mode we can set up the output mode. This is done by using the arrow buttons to navigate to F1. Press the S button for the output mode, which has a set value of HYS. The setting for the output type can be accessed by pressing the S button. The output type shows that it is set on 1P which is for normal output. This can be toggled to 1N which is for reverse output by pressing the arrow buttons. Pressing the S button again shows the P1 parameter. The set value of this can also be changed here by using the arrow buttons. Also, the H1 parameter can be shown and changed in the same way. Use the arrow buttons in function select mode to display F2 for the out 2 settings. Press the S button for the H2 parameter, the set value for this can be changed by the arrow buttons as we have previously seen. Press the S button to save changes and to display the next parameter, H3. Again, the the set value can be changed and saved as before. Press the S button for the H4 parameter. Again set value changes made by the arrow buttons are saved by pressing the S button, which also returns to function selection mode. This concludes our tutorial. Please consult the ZK2 operation manual for details. Thank you for watching.